Benton River. It's Tuesday. So glad you could join me here on the daily ride. Uh, today we're going to cover verse 3. It's a very, very good scripture. And uh, I think once we get through this um, time, because up here in this in this section I've got the, the, the daily prayer uh, for the 40-day prayer journey that we've been doing. I hope that you've been following with me and lifting up our country uh, today. Uh, we're going to be praying uh, again for our country and the, and the, the upcoming election. And uh, once we get through this 40-day prayer journey, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this area up here, and I'll just put the scripture up there to help you help you along uh, with where we're at. And I'll put it up there in the, in the NASB, and I'll also put it up there in the Amplified so you can see uh, what we're reading here. Uh, you may not have these versions, and, and it'll help you to follow along with me. So today we're in verse 3, and it says, And everyone who has this hope, fixed on him, purifies himself just as he is pure. Now I want to read that in the Amplified. It says, And everyone who has this hope confidently placed in him purifies himself just as he is pure, holy, undefiled, and guiltless. Here, here's, here's the thing, is that we spend a whole lot of time looking in the mirror and seeing the stuff that happened in the past, the mistakes that we did in the past, the, fa the times that we've fallen short, we failed, we, we see that and we've allowed that to become a definition of who we say that our, we are. God does not look at us that way because he views us through the lens of the cross of those who've chosen to believe in Jesus. Uh, the, the sin price has been paid for everybody. Uh, including those people that will never, ever accept him, but it's our choice as to whether we choose to follow him or not. And so here in this scripture, John goes back, uh, and we covered this a little bit when we were in chapter 1. Chapter 1, verse 9 says uh, that, let me just flip back over there and read uh, chapter 1, verse 9. Chapter 1, verse 9 says, And if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That word cleanse is the same word that we're, uh, and, and reference that we're talking about here in verse uh, 3 of chapter 3, is that everyone who fixes their hope on him purifies, cleanses. It's, it's, it's the same, same, de same deal is that the, the cross, what Jesus did for us on the cross is a continual thing. We don't have to continually seek uh, for cleansing. We just have to continually focus on what Jesus did for us on the cross. And, and he wiped our sins out, past, present, and future. And, it, and it's a continual cleansing that ha happens here as, long as we focus on him. Now, the, th the thing is, is that we're being cleansed every day, uh, because of the things that we have in our lives, but we don't, a lot of times we don't realize it. Sometimes we don't walk in it. We look in the mirror, we see those things and we, we get down on ourselves because we messed up. But the th thing is that when we mess up, we need to look in the mirror and say, that's, that's been paid for. That's not who I am. That's what, and I need to step into who Jesus and God, the Father and the Holy Spirit say that I am. So I hope this has been an encouragement to you guys today. Don't forget, um, uh, tonight, 7 p.m., uh, we will have Johnny Rowlett at, at the church. Uh, don't want to miss this blessing. Those of you that are unable to be there, we will have a live feed going on for you as well. And, and once the live feed is over with, it will also be where you can go back and, and view it later on if you're not able to view it at the, at, at the time that it's going live. So hope you guys are encouraged today. God bless you guys. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We're thankful, Father, that your son, Jesus, loved us enough to give his life, shed his blood for our continual cleansing and purification, that we could stand in front of you, your throne uh, boldly and, and know that you want to have an intimate relationship with each one of us. It's all about relationship. And we're thankful that you want to have a relationship with us in spite of, of our many failures and faults and shortcomings. 
you love us and you will never leave us thank you father for loving us and father we ask a special blessing on each person pray, pray that you will bless each person and you will meet each person's need at the point of their need and father we ask these things in jesus name amen god bless you guys i hope you'll continue to follow me here on the daily ride and i hope you will keep rising